Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on Wednesday, September 12th. What a mess Sterling was yesterday. Holy shit. Got what we wanted early with that print up at 130.86. The UK numbers were positive. But then the market got caught hideously long twice, you can see. From 130.80 down to 129.88 this hour. A move back to 40 and then a move to 129.65. Now we're sitting here at 130. Um, buying high ones in sterling does not seem to be working. And we're in one of these change in trend moments. So you have to buy uh, low ones. Uh, and this is incredibly hard to do. As you leave your bid and it doesn't get given. Where do you leave your bid? Is it low enough? Uh, tough, tough, tough. We still remain positive on the pair. But we do recognize how difficult the price action has been. I mean, we've been buying this stuff since 128.50, and we have really very little positive PL to show for it. So, we're going to move towards core longs uh, and smaller position, and we'll be adding on low ones. We're going to basically use 128.50 as our kill switch. So any price action towards 128.50 should be bought. And basically we're, we're basically looking for 135, 136. Uh, we think this soft Brexit is on. Here's the 200 day moving average at 135.27. So this is this is what we're looking for. It's just a question of how do you want to reflect this position. A lot of my peers are looking at topside options, digitals, um, you know, 25 delta, three month type stuff. Um, there's a lot of ways to construct this position uh, if you're a believer that this is this soft Brexit is going to happen. And you kind of have to just look at your own style of trading and look at yourself and say, how, what, what's the best way for me to express this? Do I have the patience to buy low ones? Can I hold this for multiple days, even multiple weeks? Um, and construct it this way. Anyway, uh, that's our cable story. You can reflect that in Sterling Swiss and or euro sterling all three of these pairs should uh, move in tandem with sterling strength high yesterday in euro sterling was 35 much more muted range it was much easier to trade the euro sterling um, so if you like less vol perhaps the crosses are better than cable okay enough about sterling moving on let's have a look at this aussie tricky little day yesterday. Uh, I really thought this thing was going to turn higher and as you all know this would be the first time we've been sort of bullish Aussie in a while. We saw the market as risk on and Euro was cruising up on the 116 handle. But we, could, we could only really muster the 28 high. We never got to bullish engulfing yesterday. But we did get sort of a Gravestone doji-esque type day. Um, so now it's a bit tricky because price is over 30. You have this overhang of resistance at 40. Um, it's going to be some congestion here. We're not quite clear on how we're going to express this, but we are, for the first time in a long time, um, I would say getting mildly bullish on Aussie. His uh, cousin, Mr. Kiwi, same type of bar. A little bit of a better setup uh, through these highs here. There's, no, there's not that overhang resistance. Uh, it's
it's you know oh, basically a percent away so you have to be careful you don't really want to buy, be, be, be buying kiwi after it's up a percent on a sort of momentum play but uh, these two uh, are on our radar today dollar cad obviously collapsed yesterday 131.12 was a nice number to be trading around we did not trade it but this will now be resistance today 131.12 we're trying to reload our uh, dollar czar. We did not get given yesterday. Oh, oh, 03 was the low. What was the low? The low was oh, 01. 15.0095. Uh, we do think there's still going to be a little bit of a flush below the figure. And anywhere on the 14 handle, uh, we reload our dollar czar longs. What else is out there? Let's have a quick look at uh, Euro. Smack in the middle of this. Uh, we do think this point is incredibly important, 115.25. On Monday we had sort of the false break down there, but now it's acting like, like a little triple bottom here. Let's just say price is below 50. Uh, and this will start to attract and gain attention on the downside this uh, will be a break trade type situation where we're not going to pre-trade this euro could go either way here uh, but if BTPs and boons are telling us that there's problems in Europe and or if the news flow is problematic in Europe we will jump on this and uh, get short through 25 equities real quick tricky day yesterday we were, we were lingering down in, at 70 for most of the European session then we jammed higher uh, as we talked about all indications from all of the other instruments that it was going to be risk on and it turned out to be risk on bullish engulfing this looks likely now um, to test these highs, 29.16. We are not going to get long the metrics. Uh, look a little bit upside down to us still, um, but we're also, this is definitely for us a time for patience, and we will wait for some sort of bullish, a bearish indication before we jump back on the bear side. But that's a pretty bullish day, no doubt about it. We've already printed a new high today, up to 97. Uh, we could easily see this thing pop up to 29.10 or so. So keep an eye on that. All right, I've said enough. Uh, working on these sterling longs. Be watching the euro downside if it gets down there. Um, and looking to re-engage dollar czar longs below 15 the figure these are the plans today wish you guys luck talk to you soon ciao